Welcome to Mickey's Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the thermal analysis of a composite wall using ANSYS APDL. So this is the composite wall and you can just see that the heat transfer is to be studied between two ranges of temperatures that is TA and TZ whereas T1, T2, T3, T4 and Tn-1 are the intermediate temperatures. In heat transfer, a composite wall refers to a structure or an assembly consisting of multiple layers of different materials with varying thermal properties. These layers are combined to create a wall that can efficiently regulate the flow of heat between two environments or spaces. In heat transfer, a composite wall shall refer to a structure or an assembly which consists of multiple layers of different materials with varying thermal properties. These layers are combined to create a wall that can efficiently regulate the flow of heat between two environments or spaces. Typically, it consists of an inner and an outer layer known as facing or cladding which enclose one or more insulation layers. The facing layers may be made of materials such as metals, plastics or hood while the insulation layers are usually composed of materials like foam, fiberglass, mineral wool or cellulose. Each layer in the composite wall has its own thermal conductivity, thickness and other properties which shall contribute to the overall heat transfer characteristics of the wall. The arrangement and selection of these layers are determined by the specific requirements of the application such as the desired level of insulation, structural integrity and environmental factors. Coming to the problem statement. So there is a composite wall of 1 meter height which consists of 3 materials as illustrated in the figure. The outer temperature is 20 degrees Celsius and the convection heat transfer takes place on the inner surface of the wall with the bulk temperature being 800 degrees Celsius and the heat transfer coefficient being, with the heat transfer coefficient being 25 Watt per meter square degree Celsius. We need to determine the temperature distribution in the wall considering the thermal conductivity of the three different materials to be 20, 30 and 50 watt per meter degree celsius respectively. So there are two modes of heat transfer that shall be considered here that is convection and conduction. The inner wall of the composite wall shall have convection mode of heat transfer followed by conduction until it reaches a temperature of 20 degree celsius. Coming to the problem statement analysis, the problem domain is thermal and we are going to use a solid quad 4 node 55 element to create the model. These are the thermal conductivities of the three different components of the composite wall. The cross-sectional area of three different components shall be this. And the boundary condition is the heat transfer shall take place through convection as well as conduction and the outer temperature is 20 degrees Celsius whereas the bulk temperature is 800 degrees Celsius. So these are the parameters to be determined that is the temperature distribution through the wall that is the temperature at the salient points and also the overall heat transfer through the wall. So now let us see how the problem can be solved using the numerical models through heat transfer. So this is the data given the thermal conductivities of the three components of the composite wall their cross sectional areas and the corresponding length. The bulk temperature is 800 degrees Celsius and the outer temperature of the composite wall is 20 degrees Celsius. So basically the heat is going to get transferred across these two thermal. Basically the heat transfer is going to take place across these two temperature ranges. So to find Q we shall use this formula for the composite wall and uh, the value will be 7428.57 watts or 7.42 kilowatts. To find the temperatures at the salient points to find T1 we shall use the heat transfer through convection and uh, the T1 value will be 304.76 degrees Celsius and to find T2 and T3 we shall use the Fourier's law of heat conduction as the heat transfer is going to take place through conduction mode and the corresponding temperatures are 119.04 degrees Celsius and 57.13 degrees Celsius. So these are the data that we have found out using the analytical method. And now we shall solve the same problem using the ANSYS approach. For file, select clear and start new. Select read file, click OK and execute the clear command. Go for file, select change title and enter the title as heat 
transfer analysis of composite wall click ok right click replot so you get to see the title name here go for preferences select thermal click ok preprocessor element type add edit or delete click on add and select solid and under solid select the element quad 4 node 55 click ok close go for material properties material models by default material model number one is already defined select thermal conductivity isotropic enter the thermal conductivity value of the first component of the composite wall which is 20 click ok material new model with id 2 click ok and enter the thermal conductivity value of the second component click ok material new model the component 3 with id 3 click ok isotropic and enter the thermal conductivity value of the third component of the composite wall which is 50 click ok material exit so we have entered the thermal conductivity values of the three components of the composite wall now let us model the composite wall so for that go for modeling select create areas rectangle by dimensions and enter the x and y values so for the first component it is at the origin and the final distance is 0.3 meters for the y it is at 0 at a height of 1 meter click apply so the second component shall have its origin at 0.3 meters and the total distance is 0.45 that is 0.3 plus 0.15 and the y will not change click apply the third component 0.45 and the total distance is 0.6 that is 0.45 plus 0.15 click ok so the three components are created and since we assume that all the three areas are perfectly glued and there is no chances of any heat leakages across these three areas we need to glue the three components so for that go for operate select booleans and select glue and select the areas so select area 1 and area 2 click apply and select area 2 and area 3 click ok and the three areas are glued go for plot controls select numbering and switch on the area numbers click ok and you get to see the area numbers that is a1 a2 and a3 so this completes the modeling part going on for the meshing part select mesh attributes and give the attributes for each component so select picked areas pick area 1 click ok and ensure the material number is 1 which is having the thermal conductivity value of 20 click apply second area has to be selected click ok and the material number now has to be changed to 2 which is having the thermal conductivity value of 30 click apply select the area 3 click ok and change the material number to 3 click ok so now you have given the attributes for all the three areas with their respective thermal conductivity values go for mesh tool in the mesh tool select areas click on set and select the first area click ok and enter the element edge length as 20 click apply select area 2 enter the element edge length as 30 click apply and then select the area 3 select the edge element length as 50 so this is nothing to do with the thermal conductivity values i am just entering the number so that each component of the composite wall is getting refined at a much at a much finer level click ok now select mesh tool again and here ensure it is having areas under mesh and quad and free is selected select mesh and select pick all and the meshing is complete so go for plot controls select numbering and switch on the line numbers click ok go for plot and select lines and you get to see the line numbers so this is helpful for us to enter the load values go for loads select define loads apply thermal temperature 
on lines and here this is the line number Ten. So enter the line number as ten. Click OK and enter the temperature value that is the outer temperature at twenty degrees Celsius. Click Apply and click OK. So you can just see that the outer wall of the composite wall has been assigned with a temperature value of twenty. So now under Thermal, select Convection, select On Lines, and the line four has to be given the temperature values. So click OK. And here the film coefficient is 25, which is the heat transfer coefficient, and the bulk temperature is 800 degrees Celsius. Click OK. So now you can just see that it has been assigned for the inner wall as well. So go for solution. Click on solve. Current load step. Click OK. Solution is done. File close. Go for general post processor. Select plot results and select the counter plot nodal solution DOF solution nodal temperature click OK and this is the temperature distribution so you can just see that the maximum temperature is 304.76 degrees Celsius and to get the temperature at the nodal points go for list results nodal solution DOF solution nodal temperature click OK and these are the nodal temperatures that we get to see 304 119 and 57 so this completes the temperature values and here enter set and press enter in general post processor select element table define table click on add and select flux and gradient and here select thermal flux tfx click ok click close go for plot results counter plot element table tfx s average click ok so this is the total thermal flux that is generated inside the composite wall go for plot controls select animate deform results and select the temperature click OK so this is the temperature distribution in the composite wall with the maximum temperature being 304 and the minimum temperature that is 20 as already mentioned in the problem statement